Hello, I'm Hannah. If you don't know me, I'm a graphic design student and I'm about to finish with my studies pretty soon. But this YouTube channel is about my artistic work for the most part, so welcome to another art vlog. Um, as always, I'm so happy to have you here. Never be shy to ask me any questions or just let me know what you would like to see, what is interesting to you. And I would say let's get right into the video. There are those two museums in Berlin where I've been aiming to go to for quite some time now. Um, first one is the Liebermann Villa. It's a house where an artist lived, Max Liebermann, and there are his paintings exhibited and the house is directly at the sea with a beautiful garden and his painting style inspires me very much. Um, the way he works with lighting and also his brush strokes. The second museum is Museum Barberini in Potsdam and they have a lot of impressionist, impressionistic, impressionist, impressionist uh, paintings there, especially Monet and I really love the impressionist painting style so I would really like to go there but um, both museums are a drive of about one hour it's nothing you can do very quickly and at the moment i'm really caught up with uni work because i'm approaching the end of this semester so my stuff has to be finished in the near future but maybe or at least i hope so i will be able to visit at least one museum this weekend and if i do so i'm going to take you with me and right now I'm about to meet with my friend Kelly. I've mentioned a few times by now, she's the girl from Toronto and very soon she's leaving for Canada again. So we both wanted to visit um, this magazine shop in Prenzlauer Berg, which is called Rosa Wolf or <laughs> Rosa Wolf, we would say in Germany. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to go there and to see her, of course. Okay, um, yeah, I'm excited to see her. I'm excited to visit the magazine shop. It's been on my list for quite some time, as so many things. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. <laughs> Kelly commissioned me to draw a portrait for a friend for his birthday, and I brought it for her on this opportunity. And in the envelope was, of course, a bunch of stuff for her as a surprise and as a thank you, such as prints and postcards. So I'm done with my work for today and this morning when I came from a doctor's appointment I saw two motives that I would have taken a photo of if I had my camera, my analog camera at hand, but today I didn't. So the sun just came out and I thought why not go back there and just take the shots. Berlin in summer is somehow a strange mixture of a lot of concrete, graffiti, but also wild grass and flowers. I was actually quite surprised to see this variety of flowers, but I like it very much, even the uncut grass. I've always liked wild grass much better than accurately trimmed gardens. I think it has a lot more character to it that way. And I like the purple flowers so much that I took a reference photo and drew them right away in my sketchbook as soon as I got home. Also, I've passed by the store for gemstones many times and on this day I finally went in. I found a little something for a good friend's birthday there. Personally, I don't believe in possible powers of these stones, even though I find the idea beautiful. And I'm also totally okay if people believe in them, but I personally just admire their beauty.
after I finished painting this flower, I was sketching around for my imagination for a little bit more. And I'm actually noticing that I'm getting a little better with drawing or painting perspectives somehow more or less correctly when I'm doing this from my imagination because a lot of the times I still use references and I think there is nothing bad about that and I think for especially very complex motives it's even more okay to do that um, but I think it's also a question of practice and I want to get better at it and I was proud of myself when I saw that my skills became a little bit better than before at the beginning of the video I just told you that I would like to visit the two museums and I just booked a ticket for the Liebermann Villa which I'm going to visit this afternoon and as I promised I'm going to take you along. I'm really glad that I'm finally able to make it there. I actually really wanted to go since last fall when I learned about that museum so it's been some time. Unfortunately, I've seen very few paintings because part of the exhibition is currently being reconstructed and for this reason you can't see so much. And also unfortunately, you weren't allowed to film or photograph in the atelier in which the paintings were exhibited. So this is the closest I could get to show you his artworks. But I hope you still enjoy the beautiful views and the garden. And you can see from his paintings how much inspiration he has drawn from this garden. And today there are even some flowers planted that you can also see in his paintings. Especially many in purple, blue and pink tones, which I like very much. sat in the sun on the dock by the lake for ages really it actually made me feel a little nostalgic and homesick because I spent a lot of summers at the lake back home I love being by and in the water it gives me a feeling of peace and I would have loved to get in the water actually maybe not in that exact spot since the water didn't look like it would be very suitable for swimming but in general I mean there also were a lot of weeping willows and I think I've mentioned it a couple of times by now but they are my favorite trees. I don't know why but I really like them a lot. I recently went to a bead store with a friend and made bracelets with the beads I bought there. Maybe you've seen it in my latest video too. And I find especially the bright red beads go pretty well with my skin tone. Um, I also made a bracelet for the friend who was with me in the store and I hope she will like it. I printed this lino cut in blue for the first time and I must say I really like it. However, I was a little unsure which color to print more of, therefore I made a poll in an Instagram story and to my surprise, over 80% of the participants favored blue. Um, please feel free to write me in the comments which color you like best.
Oh my god, I just saw a post on Instagram from Alice Phoebe Lou. She's a musician and she's in Berlin very often. And she just posted that she will be playing tomorrow on Sunday evening in Treptower Park for free. I will absolutely be there. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Oh, I'm so happy, this is so cool. I really like her music. I encourage you to check her out. She has the most beautiful voice. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. It's now the third season of the project Wir sind Schwung of my fellow students Simon and Tim. And because I truly like the project's concept, it's also the third time that I make an unpacking video for that. But it's certainly not only the third time that I tell you about it. Just two or three videos ago I mentioned it when I made my contribution for the project. Um, the project is mainly about exchanging creative work and this time 23 people participated. So everyone submits 23 copies of their work. Then they are divided among 23 envelopes so that each person gets one of each. On the project's Instagram you can find all the contributions again and the creators are also tagged there. So I'm signing off for today. That was quite a long video for me. If you stay to the end, thank you so much for being here. I'm always so happy if someone comes and spends some time with me. And of course, I hope to see you next time too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. And I wish you a nice rest of your day or evening.